Uh, this is MMA Matthew. We are at Rival Fight Leagues. As you can see out there in the cage, Carlos Possibly. I am with Invicta Strawweight, uh, Delaney Owen, coming off of her recent uh, loss, a tough loss, a, a close fight, but a fight that just, just didn't go your way. How did you feel coming out of it, and how do you feel now? Um, I'm extremely motivated now. Uh, it was definitely a tough loss, and I have a lot to learn from it, but <clears throat> I'm pretty excited about what I need to do now, and uh, I just know that I just got to work harder, and I'll go back in there, and I, I have my next fight. It's going to be November 15th for Sugar Creek Showdown. I'm um, fighting Amber Stottenberger. I don't think I said that right, but... <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> um, Stottenberger she, Grimsley. Yeah, yeah, yes. There we go. Yes, she changed her last name. Congrats to her. Um, she's actually a friend of mine, so it's going to be interesting fighting somebody that I'm friends with. Uh, she's a really sweet person, but we're going to have a good fight. Definitely a tough fight, so... Now, coming out of that fight with JJ, um, as I said, you know, it was a fight that was uh, very close. It was back and forth for the most part. You know, the first round, you were very dominating, thought you, you took that round. But in that second round is where um, she was able to actually, do, you know, she got your back when you guys went to the ground after a really cool judo toss by yourself. Uh, she just kind of took control there. Tell me a little bit about from there on out and, and how you hang, hung in because I think Almost anybody else could have been finished in that second round because she, she was landing some serious damage, but you were able to withstand that, kind of push through, keep going, and take the fight to decision. So tell me a little bit about that. What do you remember from the fight, if you do remember you know, anything there, and, and how did you feel um, you did in your performance from that point in the fight out? Yeah, what's strange is I do remember pretty much all of it. And normally I don't remember any of the fight. Um, but, you know, after I took her took her down, threw her, uh, she took my back, I kind of, as soon as I threw her, I knew she was going to take my back, which was like, oh, it was kind of devastating. I was like, this is about to happen, and it was slow motion. Um, and then I took a couple groin shots, which hurt pretty bad. Um, I, I believe three, two or three. No, I think it was like more than that, because <laughs> um, I was like sore for weeks after that. Um, it hurt pretty bad, and I was wondering why the ref didn't stop it, or he said one thing to her, and then she just kept on doing it, so... I don't know. That, that is what it is. Um, I definitely held on with you know my jujitsu and everything. I'm glad that I have good de uh, back defense. <laughs> so because I thought for sure she was going to be able to do something in the second round, um, take my back. She also had my arm caught with her leg too. So um, that part was it was tough. But uh, and then I, I knew that I needed to get through that second round because that was going to be something that I needed to do to be able to come back and submit her hopefully in the third round which was that's all I had in my you know my mind was I just need to come back take her down and submit her and it was kind of like a broken record um so I just feel like I should have changed it up definitely in the second round or even in the third round too but I just kept on thinking to myself the only way I'm gonna finish this fight because I had some damage already you know I was taking a couple knees to the face and you know a lot of shots so I felt like the only way I was going to win the fight is if I took her down as a matter. So I kept on trying to do that in the third round. I went for that heel hook, um, and I tried to kind of turn it into a knee bar, which didn't really happen. And then um, at the very end, like last couple seconds, I went trying to go for a Kimura, but I was just way too tired. Um, I felt like my cardio was great, except for the fact that I took a couple knees to the face, which kind of slowed me down, for sure. Um, <laughs> you don't realize that it's doing that until, you know, after after the fight's over, so, but it was good, it was a tough fight, so. Now, now moving on with the fight um, against Amber, Amber's got another fight currently lined up, but um, this fight has pretty much been confirmed, it's uh, for Sugar Creek Showdown, the 115 pound title, you're currently the 125 pound uh, champ for that same promotion, which I believe was your debut professional fight. Yeah. Um, now talk to me a little bit about returning back to Sugar Creek Showdown, and as you already mentioned, you and Amber have established a somewhat of a friendship. You guys met at Beatdown 11, uh, where you both fought. And, uh, you know, you're both cool people, two of my favorite fighters. So talk about what that's going to be like fighting somebody who you have kind of established some sort of a personal relationship with. Well, it's definitely going to be a first for me to fight somebody that I'm friends with. Um, but I think that we're both, you know, we both know kind of what's going on, we're both professionals, so I don't think it's really going to be that much of an issue because we know what we need to do, you know, we're going in there and we're fighting each other, somebody's got to win, and you know, I want it to be me and I know it's going to be <laughs> me, so, and she's thinking the same thing, um, so I think that'll be okay, but um, I really enjoy, I like that place, I like the cage, uh, I really like the cage there, um, it's nice, it's, it's like a completely circle, like, oh, like the yeah. cage? Yeah, yeah, just like that, and the can, uh, it's kind of like, um, almost like boxing, Canvas, not canvas, but like cloth. Gotcha. So, but it's, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's really soft. It's nice. So I'm 
you know, I like the people there. I have some fans there already, so I'm kind of happy about that. And they'll know me when I go back there, and they'll already be, you know, rooting for me since I have the title, 125 title. So I think it'll be fun. It'll be a good experience, and I'm just excited. I'm gonna get back into training, and you know, kick some ass. <laughs> right on. All right, so this has been Delaney Owen. Uh, we can look forward to possibly seeing you. Uh, back for Invicta in the early 2015, right? Yes, hopefully, maybe I can get on Invicta um, SC11, so I'm not sure, but the beginning of next year for sure. So. Right on. All right, so this yeah. has been Delaney Owen, and I'm MMA Matthew. Thank you.